Hooba dooba doo, hey everybody, we're back. So, how you doing? We got more SMG Nocturne. Have a few things to talk about real quick. So, went ahead and went to the Mantra HQ because we are now level 42. And at level 42, I've gotten my strength up to 25 base. Like as a base stat, not counting any Magatama enhancements. Which gave me the Magatama Gaia, which is the penultimate Magatama in the game. Uh, the reason being, if I looked the first skill I can obtain from Gaia, I will be allowed to get at level 61. And as Deathbound, then I can get Avenge, which uh, has a 50% chance of countering any physical attack with a heavy one. Uh, Gaia Rage, which uh, is a mega physical attack to all foes, and that's level 74. And then a passive ability at 76 called Attack All, where... My physical attacks do damage to everyone. And the pass off is that it gives me 10 strength and 10 vitality. So my stats will look something like this. So really, all I need to do is get strength to 30. And then if I felt like running this, I could do it. Um, the one thing that it does give me is that, it's, that uh, I am weak to force, expel, and death. But I am anti-death, so that helps. And I'm void force. So really, it, if... The enemy is not going to focus on Expel. I'm relatively okay. We're not going to work on it, though, because obviously I'm not going to be getting much from it. We're going to be running uh, Geist, I guess? Because Geist has some okay stats. That being said, we have a new friend. Say hi to Phantom. Not not this, not this, the other Phantom. This one's successful. This is Phantom the Demon. He is very great. He's got Mana Drain, Last Resort, which will explode and kill everything, which we're not going to use. Mazanma, Maragion, Prayer, Petrati and Beck and Call, and he's going to learn Mazianga. So, pretty much my best, best spellcaster. Uh, not on stats, but for the fact that it's going to have a, um, a level 2 elemental spell that hits everything, and it's going to have three of them. That's really good. And Prayer for a full heal. Uh, we're also going to be running Kushinada and uh, Daisojo. So, at this point, I believe we're just supposed to go straight inside the, uh, the assembly of Nihilo, which I believe we have a place, a way to get in there. Huh, seems we, uh, seems we don't have access to it. Is it because of the stuff that happened? I guess we have to re-enter it. Because today we take on the obelisk. I kind of ended the last episode awkwardly because I was thinking about taking on Red Rider, which is our next fiend? Uh-uh. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. <laughs> it did not end well. Let's just put it that way. So instead, we're going to continue with the plot. Uh, the problem with Red Rider is he still does a good bit of damage to me, so maybe after a dungeon, I should definitely be up for taking him on. So, let's see. Hmm. Hiriji's done with leave Ginza, head east across the bridge. Hmm, apparently crossing the highway will let me get to where I want to go. Because there is an alternate entrance to the assembly. I was assuming there was something different, or else they wouldn't have blacked out or gotten rid of our, um, our memory of the other way to get to uh, the assembly. Because they gotta get rid of it just, just to make it easier on you, you know? Because it's like, you don't need to come back here, so they want to, like, remind you, like, keep you on task. Alright, guys, come on. I can fucking kill you instantly. Let's, let's not go nuts here, okay? It's kind of interesting. Uh, I gotta give prop to this game. There's no real way to fuck yourself in terms of level up stats, by the way. Like, I, I mainly focused on magic, but I found that I've easily turned around and gone with a completely different setup with strength, and it's worked well. Let's see. Leave Ginza and head east across the bridge, but instead of sewing south, and go all the way along the highway. Leave Ginza and go east. Does it say leave Ginza and head east across the bridge instead of going south? Go north this time.
I guess this is where we're going. Am I going the wrong way? I'll figure it out in a bit. Don't make me fight Zens. Zens are easy. Demons with Lucky Find can supposedly find something just walking around outside. I guess this is the right way? Maybe? No real way to tell! It's more of me just guessing. You done? You done? Good. Clearly, I'm supposed to hit that high rate with highway thing there. Hey, you! Go, go, go! You I have? I'm not giving you shit, Zen. Boy! I don't know why I like doing that voice, it's dumb. Alright. It's just, it's, it, it is kind of hard to tell because they, um, because I just don't know what I'm doing. Can I go up through here? I can't, okay. That eliminates one thing. The encounter rate here is still inexcusably bad. See, this happens. I'm trying to progress. This game needs to be fucking obtuse with, like, like, yo, just fucking go, go, go to that other place. Do it. Do it, though. Here we go. This should be it. I love crossing the highway. Look at this road work. Look at the lack of traffic. Now this is something I can get behind, you know? Fucking... No one's... No, fucking... I can go as fast as I want. No worry about the speed limit. Overlooking the wondrous demon water. I'm now in the Shibara part of the area. The Eiffel Tower was over there on the left. Really, I I should I should do promos like advertising the Vortex World because I'm doing a good job. Security is super tight. Must mean the enemies here are actually current. It's too bad you can't escape because the game's dumb. Alright, well, let me go look at the internet while you waste my time. Quickly get in before the game fucks me. Fuck off! You bastards! I'm sorry, it fucked me first. Does that count as the game raping me? Feels like it. Well, here we are on the secondary entrance of the, uh, assembly. Alright, everybody, we did it! Get hype! We're gonna go see Hikawa again by the end of this. Our only hope is that this dungeon is not as tedious as the last one. Last one... Editing was bad. I was just fucking bored the whole time because that cube puzzle was so dumb. Mm. But I'm positive that I will be. Fu oh god! Just immediately. Uh, come on, I gotta have something that lights. Please don't tell me I fused away my light source. I probably did actually. Wait, no. Kushinada uses it. Latoma's up, and it's good. Okay. Let's go this way. There's a lot of ways to go. Hey, I got Duder. One medicine. This is a brand new area, guys. I'm learning. I'm learning a lot of new skills, you know? I'm learning so many new things. My health is increasing at a phenomenal rate. What are you gonna give me? A fucking medicine. You know what? I got chests that gave me multiple medicine in the fucking hospital. So really, you're a... 
I'm sorry for sorry for even thinking of criticizing your use of medicine. Oh, that's all on me. That's all on me, guys. Ah, fuck. Ah, what bullshit. Let's go. Don't question this game and the loot that it gives you. Then it'll just trap the loot. Might as well just fillet me. A Tetraja rock. Great, great loot. And I am not opposed to getting loot that I would actually use game. And that is not a negative. That is a positive. Give me something good next time. But I will accept anything you give me and appreciate it perfectly. Where am I? <laughs> No, this place is all fucked up. The mantra did kind of beat up parts of this area. I'm so sorry, Daisojo Senpai. Oh god. I still say the not being able to use items on it uh, with anyone but your main character is flawed. Especially when you can get confused. Because if I get charmed, that could really just fuck my entire day. Where am I now? Oh, I'm on the true core floor. Am I supposed to go to the true core floor? Uh, I feel like I shouldn't be. Yeah, there's still other places we can go. Feel like the game's just like, hey, here, here's this area. We're just gonna show it to you. Be like, hey, see, everything's connected. So we can kill all these disses. Uh, Mazama should be fine. These guys are full of fire. I also don't want to fight these guys because they keep dropping me, dropping me enemies like dis, which don't give me anything good. Like, I'm, I'm willing to fight, but the experience here is balls because it was, like, our previous area. Yeah, Shum is... A bead? Well, I just appreciate that zippity doo da zippity a my oh my what a wonderful piece of loot. I'm doing this in a strategy that will hopefully give me something that, I don't know, gives off the effect of Megidola on or something. Oh yeah, you can rush, I guess. Fucking... You can kill them so long as you hurry it up. No, oh, why'd I even hit? Okay, you missed. Let's say, why, why am I even giving them a shot? Okay. Well, the light wore off. Ah, an elevator. There's a thought. It's not the elevator I already did, right? Maybe it is. Hmm. Let me check the guide, because I don't know where I'm going at all. Go north, take an elevator, take it to B15F. When you get off, use a light ball. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, so I'm going the wrong way. Alright, what what I'm seeing here is, um... Uh, let's see. Follow the linear path right here down the long hallway leading to an elevator. Uh, so I am supposed to go where the true core floor was. So, what I'm telling you guys is that I'm wasting my fucking time, and all I have to show for it is a bead. I'm sorry for you guys. I'm sorry you even fucking watched this Let's Play. Can I, like, cross over from here? Yay, it's a safe zone. I can kind of cheat a little bit here. Why is that door closed? Fine, I'll take this door. It's like this, this is what 
I get. What I get. Uh, I see. Oh, I see. We haven't gone over here yet. Holy shit! Oh god! I didn't know I joined the cross country club just trying to get my cardio in here as I travel across the fucking country of Vortex Japan just in an attempt to get to the door. And I thought by the time I finished that fucking sentence, maybe. Just maybe we'd have made it to the exit, but good god. We're gonna be somewhere after this. Alright, let's go. Like how my um my enemy layout, like my thing is already red. Like I like how we were in a safe zone area there when we were running. But as soon as we spawn out it's red. It's like you know the random battle thing is badly designed in this fucking game. When it's like, oh, you went a whole twenty seconds without a battle. Let's just go ahead and tip it back in the favor of tedium. Like, I feel like I'm... People are gonna be like, KZ, stop talking about random battles. I'm like, maybe if I stop having random battles, I will stop talking about them. But until then, which will be never, you're just gonna have to deal with me, you little boy. I poked you. I hate to poke you like that, though. Wow. Uh, there's the obelisk, all right. And a lifestone. I can't. I gotta go around, don't I? How dare you do this to me? H how do I? Oh god. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go all the way around. Whatever's gonna make me use the cool bridge. Thank you. Let's get in. God damn it! Fucking, you're ruining the theming here! This is supposed to be an awesome moment as we walk into the area. You gotta load it with this bullshit. Tension cannot be made when I have to do battles. You're ruining the theming? I'm done. It's fine. I'm in the obelisk now. I'm in a new dungeon, finally. Now we could probably finally find, uh, Mr. Cow, you know. So we can actually get some, uh, you know, get some talking with her. I mean, we played, you know, we played to the 40s in our level. You'd think, you'd think we have met her by now, but you'd think my 35 hours, 53 minutes, we find that later from the beginning of the game, but it is never that easy. It's like when you play Fallout 3 and then you gotta go find your dad and you spend half the game doing it. And then you realize that, like, you, you're with your dad for a collective hour and a half afterwards. So that's probably how that's gonna go with her. I expect that she will be dead by the end of this dungeon or something stupid like that. Okay. Ooh, there's the little solely soul. Maiden's at the top floor. She's collecting Magatsui with her powers. Oh, good. What a wife she is. Well, this is definitely cool. Hmm. Like, this is definitely, like, a cool little thing. Oh, hello. It's a Baphomet. Eat. I'ma hit you with a bell. That's Daisojo for you. Experience is still fucking balls, though. Like... Well, just kill me now. Mm. 
Shazamma. Punch him. Oh, you avoid that. Well, well, we know now. There we go. I think you'd never die. Man, the experience is still crap in here. Really? Whose dick do I gotta suck to get some good fucking experience points? Like, like honestly here, I'm not asking for much. I'm just asking for powerful souls to feed me. <sighs> anyway. Hmm? No, it's a, oh, say he's useless. Ah, sure. They're so sinister, they made the text shake. Uh. Alright. Well, we have our uh, possible group boss slash three separate bosses. One of the, one of the two. We can go up or down. I don't see why we'd ever head down. Our goal is to get to get human waifu, and she's all the way up here. I don't want to fight these guys. They don't give me any experience. Last dungeon I was able to give me like 700. If I was lucky and we'd have multiple waves, I'd get like 1800. The Moray sisters have set devices to stop intruders. You must control the flow of time. Oh, Jesus Christ. I've never been good with time. I keep going to bed at fucking 5 in the morning. Waking up at 2 o'clock. Drinking cold coffee. Getting ready to record video games. That's my life right now. Hold on. You must touch the glowing sphere and control time to deactivate the device. But if you take too much time, the floor will crumble and- Oh, good God! Malevolent device. Fitting for the Moray- The Moray sisters can suck my dick. Suck my DD. My demon dick. I don't want any of this bullshit. <sighs> I'm calm. Let's see. The puzzle works as such. It's based on the fate. Uh, I'm on the guide, by the way. It, where it is based on the phases of Kagetsuchi, okay? Touching the glowing sphere will reset the Kagetsuchi to new. The door will open when you... The door will open when Kagetsuchi reaches half. To advance Kagetsuchi under these conditions, you must stand on special platforms. These platforms will advance Kagetsuchi by the exactly the amount of diamonds displayed on the platform. It was also directly... Be directly next to the door when Kagetsuchi reaches half take this puzzle, for example, to start. Alright. And I guess I'll try and give this a shot of my own then. This fucking Kagetsuchi nonsense. It's like they're breaking the rules, you know? You're not supposed to control the phases of the Kagetsuchi. Like, that's cheating. Sure. Well, now I know why there's a downstairs option. It'll just drop me. Atmosphere has changed. We're on new. If we hit the one on the right, we advance three. And if we go this one, it will be half. And the door will open. Oh, this puzzle's actually cool. Okay, I like this. I like this, alright? I can get behind that. You have to pay very close attention. We have to be on the platform when it's at half, though. That's the, that's the method to the madness here. Now, while I say I like the puzzle, by the way, I will very much shit-talk it if I fail it. And you guys know me. Uh, I will fail it. Hmm. Alright, uh... There's two routes to go. I'd like to go center. Okay, there's no center. You've been fooled into thinking that there was a center to this. 
Oh man, I'm a fool. This way. This way it is. Uh, yes. We're gonna need one of these because if I, because things go south and it's like, yo, maybe the Mori sisters are tough. I, I'd, I'd hate to be thrown back. Progress wise, thirty six hours of playtime. By the way, a lot of that spent grinding. I pretty much eat. I eat and sleep, and I th and even when I'm just not playing the game, I'm thinking about. All right, what do I need to fucking work on with Nocturne? Like, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm, in, I'm living this motherfucking game right now. Okay, guys, been playing it every day, several hours per day. Oh my god. Picked up some little life rocks. Oh, two Barrets? Two Barrets. I do not have their weakness. Oh, that sucks. I'll fight something just to humor the internet. What's ta? Wow, these guys are weak. Kept thinking they were their boss counterparts where they actually had a lot more HP. I think I thought that before, too. It was a ruse! Sacred water! What fucking... Seven hells, goddammit! Ugh. Goddammit. Maybe this is still the right way, though. I think there's still more to run to. Alright, doesn't seem as hopeless as I immediately thought. I don't think I've seen these enemies before. I think I saw, like, smaller bur- Okay, that was a mistake. Ha! Ha! I don't know why I'm openly mocking sound clips for a game that's, like, fucking 11 years old, but whatever. Uh, fuck- Set him on fire. Ah, that works. You. Burn him as well. Yay, we're going up! I've conquered puzzle number... Puzzle number two. Pathfinding. Oh man, this is reminding me of uh, Digital Devil Saga, the first one. When you were traveling up Karma Tower, and that one, I think I, that one, I think did it even more ridiculously than this one did, because that one went with elevation, like how many feet are you above, above you know ground or sea level or whatever it is. That that got ridiculous. Where I'm like, guys, we're like eight million miles up. This is bullshit. Also, there's a save point. I love save points. You know what are great about save points? They don't fuck you. They don't disappoint you. They don't reject you. They don't... D okay, calm down, Casey. I thought about going about a joke about how the women always, you know, openly mocked me and I never found love. But really, I'd have to seek it out to, you know, go for that. I'm one of those people that doesn't, who isn't really looking to get some... To get my dick wet. Or, or have a loving relationship as the much... Much classier way to say it would be. Yeah, it looks like I can't proceed. Let me go mess with this a little bit more. Yeah, no way to proceed. There must be another route then. 